All right, today we're gonna to go over whether or not zero calorie foods actually affect your ability to lose fat. Let's get after it. So I thought this would be a fun, quick, and insightful video to make because we've all been there before. You're dieting, you're starving, and you're about this close to punching somebody in the neck. Good news is, nowadays, there's a lot of low and no calorie options that'll help you fill that void so you don't run over somebody with your car. Problem is, there's a lot of good options, a lot of bad ones that leave you bloated and uncomfortable, and some that will literally make you piss out of your ass. So let's break it down. Let's start with my favorite. Diet soda, because I'm sure you've had this experience before where you go out to eat with your friends, even though you're on a strict diet, you know you're not gonna eat, but you're trying to be a good friend. And to keep your sanity, you order a Diet Coke. And that one friend that everybody actually hates pipes up and says, you know, those are actually worse for you than regular soda. They cause cancer. Now, deep down inside, you know they're wrong just based upon their fat little chubby face, but you've never done the research, so you can't really verbalize why. So you just go with the reliable, no one cares what you think, Kevin. And I couldn't either. So I dug in, here's the truth. Now the fear they want you to feel deep down in your plums actually isn't for aspartame, it's what it breaks down into, specifically methanol. Now the issue with methanol is it metabolizes into a known carcinogen, formaldehyde, but our bodies produce a thousand times more formaldehyde than you could ever get from aspartame and it can't be stored up in your body, it's used in a ton of different processes and whatever you don't use, you piss out. Here's a good quote to remember. There's been no reliable studies that link aspartame to cancer. You know who said that? Those tricky bastards over at cancer.org. Can't be trusted. So the next time Kevin pipes up, relay that to him and maybe sprinkle in a little bit. Of, you know what has been linked together? High fructose corn syrup and your chubby ass cheeks, i.e. diabetes. And the verdict with diet soda is, it's perfectly safe and effective way to fight those hunger pains that make you wanna kill everybody. Next up on the list, low calorie vegetables. And it never fails. You mention vegetables and then somebody jumps in the comments and says, all vegetables are good for you. Sure they are. Go eat a bowl of peas and take a nap. There's actually a lot of great low calorie options when it comes to vegetables, but choose wisely. Because if you've ever eaten raw broccoli, then you've also spent the rest of your night repeatedly checking your own oil, trying to release some of that painful gas. That's because broccoli, as well as asparagus, cauliflower, and quite a few other vegetables are cruciferous vegetables, which have raffinose in it, which is a sugar that our body doesn't have the enzyme to break down. So you can't just lightly steam those and expect not to feel like you're dying. You have to steam those vegetables for a significant amount of time to help break down that sugar or buy a digestive enzyme that has alpha galactose days. In it. But your best bet is probably staying away from those and sticking to the low calorie green vegetables that everybody can handle, your pickles and cucumbers. Verdict is on low calorie vegetables, good and effective, but choose wisely because you can replace that hunger pain with actual pain. All right, lastly, let's go over the more explosive zero calorie options. You got your Walden Farms like sludgy dressings and syrups and your magic noodles. Now the Walden Farms is made with xanthan gum, which is actually used as a laxative. And the shirataki, your magic noodles, is a soluble fiber that's incredibly absorbent and it can expand 50 times its size as it passes through your digestive tract. So both of them are gonna make you pee out of your butt. And as much as I'd like to say the verdict is they're awful for you, truthfully, they're not gonna really affect your dieting because eventually you're gonna get tired of pissing out of your ass and you're gonna stop taking them. But in moderation, they're perfectly fine. So what did we learn today? First, no one gives a shit what Kevin thinks. Second, diet soda's fine, just make sure caffeine intake doesn't get out of control. Third, choose your vegetables wisely. Finally, Walden Farms makes one hell of a laxative. But it's okay. And if you need help kicking your ass, I'll leave the links to the programs below. Both of them only 20 bucks and they will absolutely kick your ass. And if you need to unfat yourself, I'd watch this video, but most importantly, subscribe hit that notification bell and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.